I'm Alan Dean, and during the next 13 weeks, we're going to pay tribute to some of the great singers of popular music from the past three decades. Singers who were originators and trendsetters in their time. Well, naturally, our first choice has to be Frank Sinatra. Before Sinatra, the fans only swooned for movie stars. Now a new trend had begun. The stars were made by record hits and then went on to movies. Sinatra had been singing around New York for quite a while. Then, in June 1939, he was spotted by the great Harry James, who hired him to sing with his band, and here is one of the first songs he recorded with James. who was then the foremost of the big band leaders, heard about, in quotes, the skinny kid singing with Harry James. And he offered him a job at $125 a week. Well, Dorsey and Sinatra went together like ham and eggs. And a steady flow of beautiful recordings came out of the relationship. Songs like this next one, which also featured the Pied Pipers.
remember buying that record and after listening to it, I looked excitedly at the label to see who the singer was. It simply said, with vocal refrain. Oh yes, and thanks to the Peter Flanagan singers for helping to recreate that lovely sound. Well, Sinatra in later years said that he had learned all he knew about breath control and phrasing from working with and observing Tommy Dorsey playing trombone. And soon Sinatra himself was setting new standards for vocal control and superb styling. His name was now featured prominently on all the discs and the era of the singers being an attraction was beginning. And the big band era was starting its decline. However, bands like Tommy Dorsey were still drawing huge crowds of young jitterbuggers who loved to swing to Dorsey's band within a band, the Clambake Seven. Here's the ABC Sydney show band and our guest Bobby Marcini to recreate that star with At the Codfish Ball. Dancing in a row, they shuffle off to Buffalo. The jellyfish wiggle to and fro at the codfish bowl. Nothing and Hattie lead the east through an Irish reel. The catfish is a dancing man, but he can't, can, can like the tuna can. Tuna trucking left and right, Minnie's mooching, oh what a night. There won't be a hook inside at the codfish bowl. Fish ball. ball. Thank you, Bobby. By 1943, Sinatra had become a phenomenon unlike anything the music world had ever seen. The young bloods of the day were copying his hairstyle, his bow tie, and his walk. Every young singer tried desperately to emulate his relaxed, smooth style, but very few succeeded. Riding on this crest of popularity, Sinatra took the plunge and left the Dorsey band to go it alone. His first appearance at the famous Paramount Theatre in New York was stuff that legends are made of. Fans were lined up six deep around the block all day, every day. And once inside, they screamed and swooned every time he sang. Jazz critic George Simon said of those performances that never had he heard a singer with such impeccable taste in styling and phrasing. He then began to release solo recordings backed by the ex-Dorsey arranger Axel Stordal. They were all worldwide hits.
I'm sorry too I didn't have my favorite dream The one in which I hold you tight I had to call you up this morning To see if everything was still all right Sinatra was an international star with millions of record sales to his name and several movies starting with Higher and Higher, on through Anchors Away, Words and Music, It Happened in Brooklyn, On the Town and many others. In 1945 he recorded a song written and dedicated by his good friend actor Phil Silvers to his baby daughter Nancy Sinatra. No way. 
singer was beginning to emerge as a force in the music world, the big bands were still very strong. Tommy Dorsey was still up there and one of his best arrangements was, well, get it. to the ABC Sydney show band for that swinging piece of nostalgia. One of Sinatra's biggest sellers in the late 40s was Five Minutes More. Dear, this evening seemed to go so awfully fast We had so much fun And now you're home at last Look forward to a kiss or two with the garden gate. But you gave me just one peg and insisted 
it was too late Give me five minutes more Only five minutes more Let me stay Let me stay in your arms Here am I begging for Only five minutes more Only five minutes more Of your charms All week long I dreamed about our Saturday date Don't you know that Sunday morning You can't sleep late Give me five minutes more Only five minutes more Let me stay, let me stay in your arms About our Saturday day Don't you know that Sunday morning You can't sleep late Give me five minutes more Only five minutes more Let me stay Hey, let me stay In your arms Oh, come on written by Sammy Kahn and Jimmy Van Heusen. Two writers who were to contribute a great many songs to Sinatra's repertoire in the coming years. In 1948, he was the star of the famous radio series, Your Hit Parade. However, he deplored the standard of the popular songs at that time. As the popularity of the big band declined, so did the character of popular music. And more and more, the superb style of Sinatra was wasted on trivial music. By 1951, Sinatra's fortunes were at a low ebb. I remember watching him perform that year in a New York nightclub. And I was appalled at the lack of interest shown by the audience. I remember he closed the show with a song that had been his theme down through the years. And as I listened, I, I wondered whether I was witnessing the end of a great career. <laughs> got you far and so it's time to make a new start when your dreams at night fade before you then I'll have the right to adore let your kiss
course, we all know what happened. Next week, I'll talk about the rebirth of the Sinatra legend and bring you some of the songs that made it happen. Till then, on behalf of my guests, Bobby Marcini and the Peter Flanagan Singers, Eric Jupp and the ABC Sydney Show Band, my sound operators, Brendan Prost, Chris Crome and Ron Minogue, this is Alan Dean saying, see you next week. <laughs>